Okay. Yeah, give me an example. You're African American. I'm black. I'm not from Africa. <laughs> your, your, your ancestors are not from Africa? My ancestors are, but I'm not African American. I'm black. So, like. So, you prefer to be called black? I am black. You, you are definitely black. <laughs> well, very dark brown. So, like, if there's a guy from South Africa who got his. Yeah, know, yeah, no, no. I... But really, it's like, um, is there anything that you strongly believe, or like the story that you were telling me about, like how you I don't said remember you? Remember what we were talking about? You're an agnostic Buddhist. Oh yeah, I don't want to put a label on myself. I was just trying to use a descriptor. I get it. You were afraid to talking to people about well, Christianity yeah, you don't want because to be because I was a very Christian. I grew up in a Christian church. Okay. I, um, I By the way, I'm Thai. I normally because the, they have not seen us introduced. And is this a camera? Yes. Okay. So I you want to see what they look like? I don't want to. I do not want to be sitting like this. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you know the camera. But yeah. Um, so you used to be religious, not religious, as I was more religious. than religious. I wanted to be a missionary when I was a little girl. I see. I wanted to be a missionary to Africa. This is what they look like. You know. They make them this small. They make them smaller than us. What? What is this? This is a camera. It must cost. Me. No, it's like seventy bucks. So you can set up multiple shots. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have a third one over here, and you can Bluetooth control them with your phone to turn on and off as you. So what do you do to make a living? I'm a lab manager at a Fortune 250. At a Fortune 250. Like That's a company. It's uh, no, it's um, the top 250 companies. No, no. What company? Oh, Parker. Parker the, Hennepin. It's an engineering firm. Yeah. Okay. Parker Hennepin. I know who they are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I, I work in business, so you have a good job. Thanks. Um, so this is very interesting. At some point, I need to talk to you professionally. Okay. I got my contact I'm, details. I'm not ready just yet. But that's a good thing. This, that's very interesting. So you just put them on these little tripods. You mm -hmm. can set them up. So you've got one show angled at you. Right. Now where's your monitor to see what it looks like? Yeah, they're right here on the back. When you turn it on, you get a little touch oh, screen. So you can see what I look like there? Exactly. So as long as I set up the angles to begin with, they got a little bit of a fish eye. And then, and then I crop them in post. And I'm done. Interesting. Yeah, so like there, you can see the screen in the back. Yeah, it's not bad. 70 bucks? How much was this? 99. This is a mid range. This is a low tier mid range microphone. Is it omnidirectional? Or no, it's just two. These are old right, right, microphone right. pointed at me, pointed at you. Right. And then I have the mouse pad here to absorb some of the sound that comes from the table. And, and are you edit, able to edit out the noise? Yeah, to a pretty good extent. Yeah. When I first started out, not so much, but I learned through that process as well. The music and this have helped each other to like make my mixing a lot better. So like typically what I do is I drop the low end. So this has two tracks? It has two tracks, correct, yes. Yeah. All right, so you can set the levels and stuff. Once you get it in, you can adjust the levels. Yep. So if I'm speaking softly, you can turn it up. Exactly, I can even set the levels live by just pushing up and down on these buttons right That's now. That's amazing. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. No, you're good. I geek out on stuff. I love it. Um, All right, so you wanted to know, we were talking about... Um, you don't like labels. Why don't you like labels? Because I think labels keep us from connecting with each other. Labels keep us from connecting with each other. Oh, can we talk about that for five minutes? Yes, we can talk about it, whatever you want to talk about. That's great. Okay, so what do you mean by labels keep us from connecting with each other? Okay. Yeah, give me an example. You're African American. I'm black. I'm not from Africa. <laughs> your, your, your ancestors are not from Africa? My ancestors are, but I'm not African American. I'm black. So, like. So, you prefer to be called black? I am black. You, you are definitely black. <laughs> well, very dark brown. So, like, if there's a guy from South Africa who got his. You yeah, know, yeah, green no, card, no. I've, he would be African American. Well, and they think they're Africans. They would totally something. But if he got you. a green card for America, he would be a citizen in America. If that makes sense. Well, he would be. He would have the legal right to work. Fair enough. Doctor. Sure. He, so we, we, we're going to be precise with our language, Mr. Blackbird. So. Sure, sure. But like, some people are white. Some people are black. It's that's what it is. Some people are brown. Some people are brown. You can be whatever color you want. But like, as far as like 2019 is concerned, black. 
people of color who are like me are called black or prefer to be called black. My that grandfather. That's really good to know because you know. Fine. So when I grew up, <laughs> yeah, it used to be you Negro. Know, it was Negro, and then it, then it was colored. black. It used to be colored. Yeah, then and then Afro American, then African American, now black. No, no, it was black. It was black. Black yes, and black. in okay. the sixties and seventies, people wanted to be called black because yeah. black is beautiful. The mm. Black Panthers. Yeah, yeah. So it was. Um, um, Say it loud. Say it black. I'm black and, and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. Exactly. So, that, and then, then with the area of political correctness, right? Then everybody was African American. So political correctness tends to be a generation behind on a lot of things and regressive for the most part. Yeah. So, yeah. so I prefer black. Personally. Me too. Yeah, me too. And um, and but. So you are a black man, right? yeah, yeah, and I'm a white woman. Yeah, as but, far as I can tell. <laughs> okay. You put me out in that sun, and I turn red. Sure, sure. That's very white. Me too. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. Black people don't. They don't get the early indications of sunburn. It only happens. Does that make sense? Oh man, so like it's gotta be really it hard sucks, too. It sucks. So like, you go outside, and everything feels good, and then all of a sudden, you're just blistering like crazy. It's oh like, man. There's no gradient of like, hey, yeah, I feel because a itchy you can't here. see it, mm-hmm. but you probably can feel it. Not so much because typically when you're outside doing stuff, you're like in the moment. It's mm-hmm. not until it's like too bad that it's like, oh my gosh, I really hurt myself. I need to go inside, and there's like no sun lotion because you're black. You don't normally really get that. It's a long bit of a tangent. But no, yeah. that's interesting. I've, yeah. I've wanted to ask my black friends that. But okay, it's not something that uh, I felt comfortable asking. But what's the problem with, as far as labels go, you're a white okay. woman that helps me so, contextualize so, okay. things, so black in guy terms helps of, me contextualize? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. It doesn't, because what I started to say is, um, you, so you actually, the whole detour we did about African American, mm-hmm. there are black people that want to be called African American. No doubt, no doubt. And they are not Africans, who have come here. Correct. They are descendants of slaves. Correct. Here. And or, they want to be called African Americans. Yeah. Or even just literal people who immigrated from Africa who are black and are from Africa. You know? They want to be called They want to be called African American as well. well or even no. African American. Some do. I had a girlfriend who wanted to be African American. So okay. like it's all it's all mixed well, up. Well, my girlfriend who's from Uganda, she's like my daughter. She definitely looks down her nose at black women who would prefer to be called African Americans. Okay. So there's like So there's different these, people in the world. There's yes, there are, but the thing about labels is that it makes it easier to prejudge. Sure. And instead of um, be in the moment with another person and connect with them. Mm. And that's why I don't like labels. Is there any benefit to, as long as the label is connotized with healthy aspects to a person, a label could it's, be used to quickly sh- understand someone? It's a someone? shortcut, right? Yeah. I, so I didn't say I don't use labels. Yeah. I said I don't like labels. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I use labels all the time. Sure. Because right? for the shortcut, because it, it helps you. But... I think you have for me. So this is all. I'm being. This is all um, subjective. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not pronouncing other people. This is my own way of navigating through life. Hmm. I think it's really important to be mindful when using the labels, hmm. so that you don't put people in a box, and so sure, more yes. importantly, I don't put myself in a box. Yeah. Can I throw something out? I feel like for me, a label is sort of like more porous than a box, it's just a stepping stone that allows me to more quickly understand what someone's talking about. But from there, they're at a higher vantage point where they can step anywhere else they need to for me to like really clarify. So if someone says, hey, you know, like, I don't know, what's a good stereotype. I'm, I'm, I'm a black guy and I'm a this thing and I'm a that thing. I was like, okay, I know those three things. I have a good basic building block for dealing with this guy and I can still have a position to learn more from that person. It's not a for me, a, a destination. It's just like stepping stones along the journey of getting to know somebody. Right, sort of like road signs. Yeah. That's an interesting way to, to uh, think about it. I can definitely see people being too reliant on a label and making them close minded on what the potential of that well, person Well, I think be that happens that. a lot. I do too. I do. So, my brother, mm. my brother on the phone, he uh, jumped in about 
I don't know. There was a, a black guy who did something, shot a cop or something in the news a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember the exact story. He was quick to jump on. Did you hear about that black guy? Oh. That black guy. You know, he wanted to make sure I knew just it was a, little a bit black too, guy. A little too fast? A little too fast with that? Yeah, I mean, no. It's just, you know, it's, and. Uh, can I throw something out? Hear me out. You can I, throw out whatever. It's I your conversation. I don't. It's, it's ours. We're sharing it. But I don't. It's not that I identify as a black guy. It's that people identify me as a black guy. I probably see myself the same way you see yourself, the same way any of these people outside see themselves. But as far as how other people see us, that is the distinction. Yeah, people that's very see different. me as so so. But that's that's interesting too because people see me. I'm a silver-haired boomer. Mm-hmm. I'm six, going to be 66 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, they might see me as the nice little grandma next door, mm-hmm. which I don't think of myself that way. I am a grandmother. Um, I am nothing like the way I look. I am nothing like the way I look. And, but, pe- and, and but the way so, you see yourself versus the way how other people see you is, is the only reason why that label exists. But then they get shocked because I am so different mm. from the way I look. And, um, and I don't know that I, 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 I could maybe dress differently, but it wouldn't work because I look like, I look like, um, I look, when I was younger, you I looked like the girl next door. Right. I look like the average woman, mm. and I am not. And and I it used to be off-putting to people, mm. and probably still is. So it just is what it is. So there again, they get very shocked when I open my mouth. But if you if you dress differently, it's not to the benefit so you can better identify with yourself. It's so that other people can identify with you. Does that I make don't sense? know how would I what dress. How would I dress to let people know who I am? And is that important? I really kind of think that anybody I want to connect with mm-hmm. would that I could potentially want to connect with would want to get past the veneer, right? To see who I really am. In that same aspect. It seems like the veneer of how we present ourselves to people is also sort of like a label in its own right. Like again, you, I know. Yes, you don't that's like, right. No, yeah. that's right. That's yeah. right. I mean, that's. But so when I say you know I'm kind of an agnostic Buddhist, I was trying to be descriptive, like right. saying I'm a white woman with silver hair. Sure. Right. Sure. Sure. And, and then, I wear glasses. And then you can converse more to learn from there, and then go yeah. with whatever it takes. Yeah, but. Um, Saying I'm a white woman doesn't say tell you that I have a daughter-in-law who's Filipina, right? And then I have a granddaughter who is half Filipina and half white. Or that you're particularly good at gangster rap. I am not, but I've done house music. <laughs> okay, very cool. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> All yeah. right, cool. Labels <laughs> as connections to people. It can connect as a shortcut, but. Don't rely on them too much. I liked the way you said that instead of it being a box, mm. it can be porous. Yeah. So it's just a descriptor like saying the grass is green, the trees are deciduous, so some are evergreen, some you are know, soft an o- oak tree. You know, if we're, if we're like that about labels, yeah. that's, that's a healthy way to be. But... Cool. Having all these things that that's an oak tree. Well, oak trees can be in your backyard. They can be in kind of a container on the streets of New York. It's true. They can be on a farm. They can be out in the field. They can be in a lot of different contexts. Exactly. And oak trees are different according to the context. It's very true. Keep your mind open, basically. Well, and have a sense of discovery about the world. I love it. Thank you so much. Patricia Pat. 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 Pat.